Okay everyone, so in this uh, Shopify tutorial, part number four with simple theme, we're gonna learn how you can create an awesome slideshow. Alright, so let's go to part number four. Okay, so in this uh, Shopify simple theme tutorial, part number four, we're gonna learn how we can add slideshow to our uh, Shopify store. So just log into your uh, uh, Shopify account. Uh, right here, uh, then click on online store, go to themes, then click on customize. All right, so this is the simple theme. We're gonna add a slideshow. So to do this, just click on add section. Go to this one, image. Then under that, you see slideshow, click on that. Then click on add. Okay, so first we want to find some good images. I'm gonna choose uh, uh, some from uh, pixabay.com. So I'm gonna type in t-shirt. This is a story about t-shirts. Okay, so I'm gonna find uh, some good images. Okay, so I want to use this one. Then click on free download, uh, choose uh, a size, I'm gonna choose uh, 1280 times 572, uh, then click on download. Okay, so then I'm gonna choose another one. Okay, so go to next page. So find an image uh, that uh, looks nice. Uh, these images are uh, free to use. No attribution required. Okay, so I'm gonna use uh, this one. Let's click on download. Go back to the store. Uh, click on one slide. Click on select image. Click on upload. Uh, choose the image. Click on open. Click on select. Okay, so then we can click on edit. So add image alt text. So this is good for search engine uh, optimization. So let's say something like that. Then click on save. Uh, image position, top, middle, or bottom. Uh, looks the same. Uh, bottom label, this one. Uh, shop now. Okay, something like that. Then we're gonna choose a link to the products, uh, all products or a special product. Uh, okay, then we're gonna add the other slide, select the image, click on upload, uh, click on the image, click on open, then click on select. Same thing right here, click on edit. I click on save, uh, choose uh, position, okay, like that, uh, bottom label, Okay, uh, add a link. So you can add more slides if you want, just click on add slide. Or you can remove a slide, just click on remove content. Then we can go up. Uh, you can choose auto rotate slides, yes or no. Uh, change slides every uh, seven seconds or from three seconds to uh, nine seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna choose seven seconds. 
Then we have slide height. Okay. Like that. So I'm going to choose 470. Maybe, yeah, 510. Uh, transition effect, slide or fade. So I'm going to choose slide text size. Or large. Okay, so I'm gonna choose large. So when you are satisfied with your slideshow, just click on save. Let's go back. And uh, now you can uh, move around the slideshow. If you want to have this uh, above rich text, just click on the six dots and move it up like that. Release. And now we have it above uh, this section. Okay, everyone. So this is how you can add a slideshow on your Shopify store in the simple theme. Let's go to part number five. Okay, everyone. So in this uh, Shopify uh, simple theme tutorial, part number five, we're going to learn how you can add an announcement bar at the top of your Shopify store. All right. So let's go to part number five. Okay, so in this uh, Shopify simple theme tutorial part 5, we're going to learn how we can add an announcement bar right here at the top. So to come to a uh, customized theme, just uh, go to your backend, click on online store, click on themes, then customize. Okay, uh, then click on header, go down to announcement bar. So click on show announcement bar. Now you can choose home page only or everywhere on the store. I want to have this shown everywhere. So I'm going to uncheck this one. Okay, so just add an announcement text. So here you can add uh, free shipping offer, 10% uh, uh, offer, uh, or just uh, customer service number, uh, things like that. So let's say we want to have free uh, shipping for orders above $50. Okay. Okay, so then we can click on announcement link. So you can have this to products, to uh, information page, a blog, whatever you want, collection. Uh, maybe you have a special uh, uh, discount for a special collection. So in this case, I'm going to choose all products. Let's click on all products. Okay. So when you are satisfied, just click on save. When your customers click on this one, free shipping, they will come to all products. Or if you have added another link to a page or blog post and things like that, Okay everyone, so this is how you can add an announcement bar on your Shopify store in the simple theme. Let's go to part number 6. Okay, so in this uh, simple theme tutorial, part number 6, we're going to learn how you can create collections in your Shopify store. Okay, so let's do this. Okay everyone, so in this uh, simple theme tutorial, part number 6, we're going to create collections for our Shopify store. So to do this, just log into your backend. So we go back. Then we're going to click on products. Go down to collections. Then click on create collection. Okay, so a collection is uh, like a category. To categorize your products. So this will be a t-shirt store. So we will uh, maybe have animals on the t-shirts, maybe quotes, uh, maybe other uh, things on the t-shirts. So let's say we want to add a collection about animals. That means we're only going to add uh, t-shirts with animals on it in this collection. So first we can name a title. Do whatever you like. Then you can add a description about this collection.
Okay, just add a description about this uh, collection. Then we can go down to conditions. So you can uh, manually add the products when you create them to uh, different collections. Uh, I think that is uh, the simplest way. Then you don't have to remember all the tags you need to add to have them in a specific collection. But you can also add automatically uh, select products based on conditions. So let's say you want to have products must match any condition uh, with uh, the tag with tag equal to animal animal okay so when you add a tag uh, to the product with animal this uh, product will end up in this collection all right uh, but i'm going to use uh, manually and then we see this one search engine listing preview so this is uh, how it's going to look uh, in the search engine so if you want to have more text in the description just add it and you can see how it will look like in the search engine all right then we can go to collection image so here we're gonna upload an image for the collection so if you don't have an image you can go to pixabay just search Okay, so let's say I want to have this one. Let's download it. Go back, click on upload image. Click on the image, then open. Then we can click on update, click on edit image and change the image alt text to animal t-shirts. Like that. So this is good for a search engine optimization. Then click on save. Click on save. So now we can share it on Facebook or create another collection. And to add a collection on your page, just go to online store, click on themes, then customize. So now you can click on Featured Collection. Uh, we can change this one. We're going to choose uh, the one we just created, Animal T-shirt. Then click on Select. You can also change uh, rows. So you see one, two, three, four. So let's say you want to have one like that. We can also change the heading to maybe something like that. And when you will add the products in this collection, they will end up right here. Okay, so then click on save. We can also go back and click on add section, click on collection list. Then click on add. Okay, so here you can add uh, collections. So let's say you want to add our new collection. Let's choose the collection. Then click on select. Then just add more collections to have them right here. So now you see we have animal t-shirts and we have the uh, image for that collection. You can also choose uh, uh, collections per row. So from two to five, like that. And if you use five, you need to add more collections. Just click on add collection, uh, select collection, like that. You can also change the heading. To whatever you like.
Okay everyone, so this is how you can create a collection and how you can add the collections on your front page. Let's go to part number 7. Okay everyone, so I hope you now have awesome collections in your Shopify store. If you want, you can subscribe to my channel right here for more of these tutorials. And let's go to part number 7. Just click right here. Okay, so I hope you have an awesome day. Take care and bye.